What the FAQ? Let's build and install a single port ceiling pendant. Start with stripping your cloth covered wire using masking tape and your wire stripping tool. Here we're using our Color Cord 3000, a universal wire stripper. Remove the PVC housing to expose the conductor wires underneath. Then strip about a quarter inch of the conductor wires to expose the copper wire. Take the male end of your cord grip and thread the bottom of it into the top of the socket cap. You may need a wrench to thread it until completely secured. Loosen the ground screw on the inside of your socket cap. This is where your green ground wire will be secured. Then, take the top female portion of your cord grip and slide it over the exposed conductor wires onto the cloth covering. Do the same thing with the socket cover if you're using one. Feed the conductor wires through the cord grip end and socket cap. Then insert the green ground wire into the ground screw and tighten down the screw. This should be your result. Next, loosen the screws on your terminal plate and insert the positive and negative conductor wires into the terminal plate. The black positive wire goes into the insert with the gold screw and the white negative to the insert with the silver screw. Tighten down the screws. This should be your result. Secure the terminal plate by finding the groove on the bottom of the socket cap and then thread on the socket body. Please note, these sockets are self-locking. Do not thread the socket body on with the terminal inside before wiring, as you will not be able to unlock the socket. Then slide the socket cover over the socket and thread the top of the core grip onto the female portion. You may need a wrench to tighten the cord grip all the way. The next step is to strip the other end of your cloth covered wire, which will be inserted into your ceiling canopy. Repeat the steps from the beginning of the video to strip your cloth covered wire. Feed the conductor wire through the canopy cord grip, then make an overhand knot to ensure the cord cannot slide back out of the canopy. Now let's install your ceiling pendant to a junction box. Please ensure the power to your junction box is turned off, which is usually done at your breaker box. Take your canopy mounting bracket and screw it into the J box. Twist the conductor wires from the cord to the matching wires coming from the J-Box. Please note that in most cases, your J-Box will have a bare copper ground wire and not the green wire showed here. Secure each connection using wire nuts. Push all the wires up into the J-Box and line up the canopy screw holes with the screw holes on the canopy bracket and then thread and tighten the provided canopy screws. Then, once you adjust your cord to your preferred length, tighten down the canopy set screw to secure the cloth covered wire. And there you go. Now you can add a light bulb and flip the breaker back on. That's how you wire and install a single port ceiling pendant from start to finish.